Today, we gather not only as a community of faith, but also as individuals facing various trials and tribulations. But fear not, for we are here to remind ourselves of the unwavering promise of our Lord, that He will work everything out for our good. My dear friends, the burdens of life can weigh heavy upon us, pulling us into the swirling vortex of worry and anxiety. We find ourselves consumed by thoughts of the uncertainties that lie ahead. Will we succeed in our careers? Will our relationships endure the tests of time? Will our health remain steadfast in the face of illness? These questions plague our minds, threatening to steal away our peace and joy. But in the midst of this tumult, I implore you to take a moment to breathe, to step back from the chaos, and to fix your gaze upon the one who holds all things in his mighty hands. For our God is not a distant observer, indifferent to our struggles. No, he is intimately acquainted with every trial and tribulation we face, and he stands ready to guide us through the storms of life. When we feel overwhelmed by the pressures of this world, let us remember the words of Psalm 55, 22, which declares, cast your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. Our Heavenly Father longs to bear our burdens, to lift the weight of our worries from our weary shoulders. Beloved friends, in the sacred pages of Matthew 6.34, we find a timeless truth that resonates deeply with the human experience. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. These words, spoken by our compassionate Savior, offer a profound perspective on the nature of worry and anxiety. How often do we find ourselves consumed by thoughts of what tomorrow may bring? We fret over the uncertainties of the future, allowing our minds to become entangled in a web of what? Ifs and maybes. But in the midst of our anxious ponderings, Jesus beckons us to redirect our focus to the present moment. Each day is a precious gift filled with its own joys and sorrows, triumphs and challenges. And just as a loving parent cares for their child's needs, one day at a time, so too does our Heavenly Father provide for us in the here and now. He knows the burdens we bear, the trials we face, and He promises to walk with us every step of the way. When we fixate on the worries of tomorrow, we rob ourselves of the peace and contentment that can be found in the present moment. Instead, let us cultivate a spirit of trust and surrender, knowing that God holds our future securely in His hands. As we release our anxieties into His care, may we find solace in the knowledge that He is faithful to provide for our every need. So, my dear brothers and sisters, let us embrace each day as a precious gift from our Heavenly Father let us live fully in the present moment. Confident in the knowledge that God's plans for us are good and that He is always working for our good. With hearts filled with gratitude and trust, may we walk boldly into the future, knowing that our God is with us every step of the way. So, take a moment. My dear brothers and sisters, to journey back through the chapters of your life story. Reflect on the moments when darkness seemed to overshadow the light, when despair threatened to extinguish all hope. Perhaps you faced financial hardships that left you wondering how you would make ends meet or health crises that shook you to your core. Maybe you endured heartbreaks that shattered your dreams and left you feeling utterly alone in those moments of despair. It may have seemed as though all hope was lost. You may have cried out to God, questioning His plan and His purpose. But as you stand here today, you are a living testament to His faithfulness. Look around you and see the evidence of His grace and mercy woven into the fabric of your life. Despite the trials and tribulations you have faced, you are still standing your story is not defined by the hardships you have endured, but by the strength and resilience 
you have displayed in the face of adversity. You are a survivor, a conqueror, a child of the Most High God. For in the darkness, he was your light. In the storm, he was your anchor. In your weakness, he was your strength. Time and time again, he has proven himself faithful, never leaving you nor forsaking you. So, my beloved congregation, let us take heart in the knowledge that our God is a God of redemption and restoration. He can take our brokenness and turn it into something beautiful. He can breathe new life into the dry bones of our despair and usher in a season of abundance and blessing. As you look back on your life's journey, may you see the hand of God at work, guiding you through the valleys and leading you to the mountaintops. And may you be filled with gratitude for His faithfulness, knowing that He who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. My dear friends, let us turn our hearts to the sacred text of Romans 8, 28, where we find a profound declaration of God's sovereignty and goodness. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. These words, penned by the Apostle Paul under the divine inspiration of the Holy Spirit, offer a glimmer of hope in the midst of life's trials and tribulations. In times of darkness and despair, it can be challenging to see beyond our present circumstances. We may question the purpose behind our pain, wondering if God has forsaken us or if He has forgotten His promises. But in Romans 8, 28, we are reminded that nothing escapes God's notice, and He is continually at work behind the scenes, orchestrating His perfect plan for our lives. This verse serves as a beacon of hope guiding us through the darkest of nights and the fiercest of storms. It is a reminder that our Heavenly Father is not passive or indifferent to our suffering, but rather actively involved in every aspect of our lives. He is able to take even the most dire situations and turn them around for our good and His glory. But let us not misunderstand the promise of Romans 8.28. It does not guarantee a life free from pain or hardship. Instead, it assures us that even in the midst of our trials, God is working all things together for our ultimate good. He can take our brokenness and use it to shape us into vessels of His grace and mercy. So, my dear brothers and sisters, let us cling to the promise of Romans 8.28 with strong faith. Let us trust in the goodness and faithfulness of our Heavenly Father, knowing that He is able to bring beauty from ashes and joy from mourning. And as we journey through life's ups and downs, may we take comfort in the knowledge that we serve a God who is always working for our good and His glory. My beloved congregation, the question of how to stop worrying and start trusting in God's plan is one that weighs heavy on many hearts. In a world filled with uncertainty and chaos, it's natural for our minds to be consumed by fear and doubt. But the answer, dear friends, lies in the act of surrender, a conscious choice to release our grip on control and place our trust firmly in the hands of our Heavenly Father. Surrender is not a one-time event, but rather a daily practice a continual laying down of our fears, doubts, and insecurities at the feet of the cross. It requires vulnerability and humility as we acknowledge our limitations and our need for God's grace. It's an act of faith, trusting that God is who He says He is and that He's able to do what He promises. When we surrender to God, we relinquish our futile attempts to carry the weight of the world on our shoulders. We recognize that we are not meant to bear our burdens alone, but rather to cast them upon the one who is mighty to save. And as we release our grip on control, we find freedom. Freedom from worry, freedom from anxiety, and freedom to live fully in the present moment. 
but surrender is not always easy. It requires us to let go of our need for certainty and to embrace the mystery of God's plan. It means relinquishing our desire for instant answers and trusting that God's timing is perfect, even when it doesn't align with our own. So, my dear brothers and sisters, I urge you to embrace the practice of surrender in your daily lives. Take time each day to come before the Lord in prayer, laying your fears and worries at His feet. Trust in His goodness and His faithfulness, knowing that He is able to carry you through whatever challenges may come your way. As you surrender to God's plan for your life, may you experience the peace that surpasses all understanding. May you find rest for your weary souls and strength for the journey ahead. And may you walk in the confidence of knowing that you serve a God who is always faithful to His promises. My friends, when life gets tough and things are uncertain or difficult, it's easy to lose sight of the promises that God has spoken over our lives. But my dear brothers and sisters, I implore you to remember the precious words that are contained within the pages of His Word, for they are not merely ink on paper, but rather a source of hope and encouragement a beacon of light that illuminates our path in the darkness. The promises of God's Word are like a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path, guiding us through the twists and turns of life's journey. They provide us with direction, comfort, and assurance, reminding us that we are not alone in our struggles. In times of need, cling to the promises of provision, knowing that our Heavenly Father is Jehovah Jireh, the God who provides. He is the source of all good things, and He delights in meeting our needs according to His riches in glory. When fear threatens to overwhelm us, hold fast to the promises of protection, knowing that our God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in times of trouble. He is our fortress, our shield, and our defender, and He promises to keep us safe under the shadow of His wings. And when peace seems elusive, meditate on the promises of peace that surpasses all understanding. Our God is the Prince of Peace, and He offers us a peace that transcends our circumstances, a peace that can only be found in Him. So, my beloved congregation, let us not forget the promises of God's Word. Let us treasure them in our hearts and allow them to be a source of strength and encouragement in times of trial. And as we cling to His promises of provision, protection, and peace, may we be filled with confidence, knowing that He who promised is faithful to fulfill every word spoken over our lives. Now, and as we journey through the highs and lows of life, there may be moments when hope feels distant, when despair threatens to overshadow our faith. But my dear brothers and sisters, I urge you never to lose sight of the hope that is found in our Heavenly Father, for He is a God of miracles, a God who delights in revealing His power and glory to those who put their trust in Him. In the darkest of nights, when all seems lost, remember, that our God is the God of the impossible. He can make a way where there seems to be no way, and He can turn our mourning into dancing, our ashes into beauty. Throughout the pages of Scripture, we see countless examples of God's miraculous intervention in the lives of His people, from parting the Red Sea to raising the dead. His power knows no bounds, and He promises to do the same for us today for He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So, my beloved congregation, lift up your heads and rejoice, for our redemption draws near. Though we may walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we need not fear, for our God is with us. He is our ever-present help in times of trouble, our strength and our shield. As we fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, may we be filled with a renewed sense of hope and expectation. 
For he who began a good work in us will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. As we are about to finish this message, let us carry with us the assurance that no matter what challenges may come our way, God is indeed working all things together for our good. Let this truth be engraved upon our hearts, anchoring us in faith and fortifying us against the storms of life with heads held high and hearts filled with hope. Let us go forth from this place, knowing that we are not alone on this journey. Our Heavenly Father walks beside us, His presence a constant source of strength and comfort. So, my beloved congregation, go forth in faith, knowing that the best is yet to come, though we may face trials and tribulations along the way. Let us hold fast to the promise that God's plans for us are good and that He is faithful to bring them to fruition. May we face each day with courage and perseverance, trusting in the unfailing love of our Heavenly Father. And may we be a shining light in the darkness, reflecting His grace and mercy to a world in need. So, my beloved friends, let us release our fears and anxieties into the loving embrace of our God. Let us trust in His unfailing love and His perfect wisdom, knowing that He is greater than any challenge we may face. As we surrender our hearts to Him, may we find peace that surpasses all understanding, and may we be filled with hope for the journey ahead. Now. Let us open our hearts to this prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you with a heavy heart, seeking your guidance and your grace. You know the struggles and challenges that I am facing, and I am placing my trust in you to help me through them. I believe that you are a loving and compassionate God who wants the best for me. I know that you are always with me, even in the darkest of times. I ask that you grant me the strength and courage I need to face my challenges and the wisdom to make the right decisions. Lord, I know that you have a plan and a purpose for my life, and I trust that you will work everything out for my good. Help me to have faith and to trust in your perfect timing. May your peace that surpasses all understanding fill my heart and mind, and may your love and grace sustain me always. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.